Oh yeah, I love it. Hey, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all about gentle skincare and sometimes self-care. So if that's your vibe, please consider hitting subscribe. And today I'm going to be talking about some of my favorite facial mists. And this is actually something that has been um, requested of me for quite a while now. A lot of you have asked me, what are your favorite mists? Let us know. And I've been a little bit resistant because I don't usually enjoy mists. But I realize that's not exactly true. Um, there are some mist products that have actually broken my bias and have actually proved themselves to be beneficial to me in different situations. So this is going to be an interesting one for me because I'm like, I'm working against everything I thought to be true. So if you're so ready to find out which ones they are, give the video a big thumbs up and let's get started. <music> The mist that I think is the best to seal it all in is the Claire's Fundamental Ampule Mist. It's really focused on delivering antioxidants and barrier supportive ingredients like ceramide and pea into the skin. When you spray this out onto your skin, you're gonna feel that hydrating factor. But then what makes this mist a little bit different is it's got this balancing moisture to it. It's not a lot, it's just a whisper of moisture. It's not oily or greasy or even heavy heavy, but it definitely gives this spray a little bit of oomph, a little bit of balance, something different than just your purely hydrating sprays. And this also seems to have a little bit of occlusivity to it. And that's really why I wanted to name this as the best seal it in mist. And I think that's kind of the traditional way that we think about facial mists as something to just kind of like top your skincare off in the middle of the day when you need a hydration boost, right? And um, it's super chic. Like I think it looks so 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 appealing especially when I first got into K-beauty I would see like mists being touted as a part of like your 10-step routine something you carry in your purse and you top off um, you know maybe you are in like a very like dry environment and your skin just needs more like hydration you just missed in the middle of the day and then you look all dewy and refreshed super chic, right? I have just found in my experience when I'm misting on top of my skin, it definitely feels good in the moment, but all of that hydration sitting on top of my skin, not getting sealed in with like an occlusive layer, it just evaporates off of my skin into, into the environment, right? And I just feel like sometimes when that hydration is coming off of my skin, it's actually taking other hydration along with it. And so sometimes my skin would actually feel more dehydrated and more thirsty, like 20 minutes, half an hour after mist and I, I just started to realize it wasn't helping me at all um, and maybe even it was backfiring on me that is where my bias against facial mists have come from like I, I know that to be true that's not exactly my experience with this mist from Claire's because this is not just hydrating as I mentioned there's a moisture element to it there's an occlusive element to it that I think you know allows it to stay on your skin a little bit longer and stay put and give you that hydration boost now when it comes to a misting product I think talking about how it sprays out onto your face is just as important as how it feels on your skin so the Claire's mist I do find it's a nice it delivers a nice fine mist to the skin but because it's a pump applicator not like a continuous mist I do find that it can get a little patchy so you absolutely can use this like a spray toner you know before your serums and your moisturizers you know I think it's hydrating enough to be used in that that step it's not so occlusive that it's like not gonna jive well with your other products I think it works really well I've used it that way and I enjoy it um, but if you're somebody who maybe feels like you know when I mist, I feel like it just disappears off of my skin then I would say, you know, definitely try this one out. And if you've ever felt like you want a mist, but maybe you are prone to dehydration, try this one out. I think it looks beautiful on top of makeup as well, because as you notice, you know, as this absorbs into the skin, you're going to get that little glowy, dewy finish to this that the fundamental line, I think, does so well. Um, it gives just that little kind of like glass skin appearance to the skin that I think is very, very appealing. So overall, I think this is a wonderful mist with a slightly more unique formula that kind of broke my bias against misting products. Now the best soothing mist is the Misha Time Revolution Artemisia Treatment Essence. 
mist. Now you know I love the Artemisia treatment essence like original. Um, so, so soothing for my sensitive skin. And I love this mist application. Um, this is definitely something that calms irritation on the skin so quickly. And the hero ingredient here is mugwort, also known as Artemisia. And it's a very high quality, highly concentrated and double fermented extract. And when you ferment something, that really tends to intensify it and bring up more and bigger and better benefits. Now, this is so good at calming inflammation, soothing redness. It can actually um, be a really great ingredient to help with acne because it can soothe pimples and redness and promote healing. It's also antibacterial, but still gentle on the skin. It actually provides strong antioxidant benefits for the skin and it just promotes like healing, repair, and soothing. So even though this mist pumps like the Claire's, it's much more even. It's got like a smoother application with a really nice fine and even mist. So I find this to just be a joy to spray onto my skin. And this is something that you want to use right after cleansing your skin, before your toners and other essences, maybe your serums, however you want to layer your skincare, this should really go on right after cleansing. It's not really a hydrating mist. This isn't really going to refresh your skin necessarily or bring moisture or balance. It doesn't have like that occlusive element to it. But what this is, is it's a first essence. So it really helps to prep your skin and it will help the the penetration of all the other uh, skincare that you put on top of it it will allow it to absorb into your skin just a little bit better so think about this like a mist that not only soothes sensitive skin and irritation and calms it down and it's particularly good if you're acne prone think about this like a prep spray a skincare prep spray, something you put on before the rest of your skincare that really enhances the rest of your routine and brings intense soothing to your skin. The next mist gets two titles. Not only is it the best deeply hydrating mist, in my opinion, I also think this is the best mist for your gym bag. This is the Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe, adaptogens, and coconut water. Now you might be surprised, like Mario Badescu, really, Kelly? I know, I was actually super surprised by this product. I didn't think I was gonna like it at all. Um, this is really not a brand that I gravitate towards, really, um, ever. <laughs> There's a few things that I think are nice, but I've never been super impressed by this brand. However, there is something about this spray that is like beyond. Uh, my skin absolutely loves this and I find this to be deeply hydrating. As I mentioned, I do have dehydrated skin. So my bar for what I say is hydrating is super high. I always say that in my videos, I know. But if you're new to my channel, I think it's incredibly important for you to understand my benchmark for hydration. It's super duper high. This like reaches that so, so well. And you know what? I have to say, I think it's the coconut water because I've used other hydrating products in the past that utilize coconut water. And there's something just a little bit extra special about coconut water for dehydrated skin. There's a replenishing element to it. This is not the type of hydration that just like lightly sits on top of your skin and just like feels refreshing. It gets in there. <laughs> it gets deeper in there. And if you've ever experienced dehydration on your skin, you know the thirst goes deeper than just surface level on your skin. So when you miss this out onto your skin, you're going to notice that the particles are very fine, but it's kind of the same issue with the clairs that you might run into because it's that more traditional pump um, type of mechanism. Sometimes you're going to get a little bit of an uneven kind of application to your face. You might have to do a couple of little extra mini sprays in between. It doesn't really bother me though, because this just feels so good on my skin. I do want to just kind of like bask in it, you know, breathe in it, if you know what I mean. So I don't mind that at all. Um, and this has such a nice texture because it's just, it's watery, it's light, it's quickly absorbed into the skin. And this is really like, in my mind, one of the best like spray toners. Um, this is really great for replenishing dehydrated and thirsty skin. But I really find like toners to be particularly helpful in mist bottles when it comes to like 
travel or gym bags. This is actually what I carry exclusively in my gym bag for hydration. I go swimming a couple of times a week and so I do need to do like a, a, a skincare routine to kind of replenish and repair my skin after the exposure to chlorine. And this is so perfect because I just spray it onto my face and just let it sink in and I can like keep drying myself off. Uh, I can start packing my things up. You know what I mean? When you're in a situation like a locker room where you want to get in and out as quickly as possible. Maybe you don't want to be touching your face super duper much. The spray comes super in handy. I mean, I can see this being handy for like travel and stuff too. If you just want, you know, a toner where you're not like having to deal with like getting it into your hands and patting it onto your face. One of the best mists for sensitive skin is La Roche-Posay Thermal Spring Water. I love this for so many reasons, but I think this is a particularly good pick for sensitive skin really for two reasons. Number one, the ingredients. Ingredients. I know it just says water. I know, I know. Um, but the reason why I like this for sensitive skin is because there's like nothing offending here. No fragrances, no drying alcohols, no essential oils, no like potentially irritating plant extracts, right? You know, sensitive skin is so finicky. It, it can react to a lot of different things. So we're right now, we're just narrowing it down to one ingredient that's probably not going to offend your sensitive skin, right? You, you see where my thinking is with this. Um, but don't think that this is just like fancy water in a can. It's definitely fancy water, but thermal water is actually infused with a lot of minerals and vitamins that are very beneficial for your skin. And it really is a staple of French pharmacy brands like La Roche-Posay. They actually really have built their reputation on how good thermal water is for your skin. And that's because all of those vitamins and minerals found in thermal water like magnesium and selenium those are amazing for promoting a healthy skin microbiome and this is intimately tied to the health of your skin barrier as well everything is interconnected in your body and one of the very first defenses for your skin is a microbiome right and then the second defense is your skin barrier and if one of those things is compromised your skin is not going to be as healthy and as resilient and as strong as it used to be. This is a very emerging um, kind of area in skincare that we just don't know that much about, but there's some good research to back up the fact that a healthy microbiome means healthy skin and thermal water helps to promote that healthy environment. So that's another reason why I picked it for sensitive skin. So those are all great things, but I have to tell you if you're into mists, you're gonna love this because this is the best mister in this video. This has a continuous, smooth, fine, even application. This is such a joy to use. I mean, when you, you know, when I was saying like, oh, just the, the beautiful picture in your mind of like elegantly spraying your face with the mist, you imagine this type of mister. This is gorgeous. So this is something that I would use like getting straight out of the shower, like when my skin just needs a little hit, a little hit of hydration. Oh yeah, I love it. I'll use this right after washing my face before I put on any skincare, kind of like that prep step that we were talking about earlier. Shh. Oh yeah. Um, I'd even put this in my gym bag too because this is kind of like the um, the Mario Badescu. It has a nice, a it's not as hydrating. It's got a nice little hit of hydration, but it's that nice hands-free quick. I'm gonna do it again. Shh kind of like feel on the skin. Maybe your skin craves moisture and not hydration. And that's where my next pick comes in. The best moisturizing mist is the Laneige Cream Skin Refiner Mist. Cream Skin Refiner is incredibly popular. It blew up in Korea and then it blew up um, in North America and just like in the West too. It's actually one of Laneige's like most popular products. And I happen to really enjoy it. It's deeply moisturizing. It's so interesting because it's so liquidy and so milky, but it almost feels like you put a layer of moisturizer on your face because it just really, really deeply moisturizes moisturizes your skin. And sometimes, I will say, sometimes that can feel a little heavy on my skin. It can feel even a little bit greasy. Um, I mean, they really market it like a liquid moisturizer and that's exactly how it feels on the skin. So sometimes it's like not gonna be appropriate for every skin type and sometimes if you're heavy handed with application, it can feel overwhelming. I have combination skin that leans towards the dry 
dry side. So I sometimes benefit from cream skin and sometimes it overwhelms my skin. It just depends on where I'm at. So it's kind of an occasional use product for me, but I will say the mist kind of changed that for me. And at first I was like, okay, another cream skin refiner version out there. It's just another money grab from Laneige, right? They just bottled the regular old cream skin, like nothing's changed with the formula here into a mister. And like, yes, that is what they did, but no, it is actually like adding something beneficial to the market that cream skin like original does not because the original you know dropping it into your palm and then like patting it onto your face it's very easy to over apply it and if your skin doesn't need that much moisture it is gonna feel overwhelming but the mist solves that because you just spray that onto your face and it's just the right restrained amount to get the moisture your skin is craving without overwhelming it with too much product so this actually opened my eyes up to cream skin in a very different way and I really enjoy it. It's got a great spray mechanism. It's got great moisture. It's totally layerable too. If you want a little bit more moisture, you can do that. But I just feel like the application is a lot more precise with this product. So if you've ever struggled, like you like what cream skin does for you, but sometimes it feels heavy, get the mist. It solves so many problems. Now the best mist for setting your makeup is the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Veil Mist. There are so many skin beneficial ingredients in here um, without any fragrances, drying alcohols, or essential oils. Now as I mentioned, it's super important to really rate how the spray uh, works with the mist. And this is important especially for makeup because you don't want something spinning out like a big heavy layer of mist in one area and not in the other and making your makeup look kind of funky right this actually gets the misting apart super duper right it's very very fine mist with a nice kind of like wide kind of range that it hits so you're not like getting a lot of uneven clumps of mist around your face super important for makeup setting right so i love the mister on this i love the formula on this and it really lives up to the glass skin name this is so glowy the finish of this wow so when you get it onto your skin you're gonna feel the hydration you're gonna have that like refreshing feel to it there's a little hint of moisture I don't think it's as much moisture as the Claire's fundamental mist remember at the beginning of the video it's not as like balancing as that but you're gonna feel a little bit of that but this actually has more dewiness than the Claire's fundamental mist they're very similar um, but this one one definitely brings much more glow much more of that glass skin finish to the skin which I happen to be a huge fan of and I'm wearing it today um, I use this to set my makeup today I love the finish of this and like the Claire's this has that little hit of occlusivity that my dehydrated skin needs I need just a little bit more occlusivity to keep all that hydration that I just layered and layered in with all my other skincare products I need it to stay put and so this mist kind of just helps to lock everything in which I really enjoy now this is not a hard like hitting like all night type of special event like makeup setting spray I will admit it's not that but it does give me longevity to my everyday makeup it does kind of help it stay in place and not move around or cake up so much so hard hitting maybe not but if you need a little extra help in keeping your everyday makeup you know to stay put this is perfect so I'm not really sure that I can claim that I don't really find mist to be beneficial anymore because <laughs> I think I just proved to myself that there's a lot of misting products out there that I personally do enjoy and that have broken my bias so I'm curious what are your thoughts misting or no misting is it just like kind of trendy fun or do you find them to be really helpful let me know in the comment box below if you love the video if it helped you out and you want to see more skincare videos just like this one from me please do consider hitting subscribe before you click out of the video um like i said i do release a lot of skincare content throughout the week so you might consider turning on notifications too so you're never out of the loop when i drop the new content i hope you are healthy happy and safe and i can't wait to see you in the next video